Are there power in numbers? You betcha. Two million people in Hong Kong. Hong Kong, it's a little state off the tip of China, you know, it used to be China. And then and then a hundred for a hundred years the British had a had a lease in Hong Kong and then the lease expired and they had to give back Hong Kong to China under certain conditions that China that Hong Kong would be allowed to continue, you know, with its uh, with the, the ways of Britain. Right? But now, now China's cracking down, right? So two million people are protesting in the streets of Hong Kong. Uh, in a population of only 7 million. So that's 25 to 30% of the people of the country came out protesting an extradition bill. And now what is this extradition bill? So it's a little, a little crazy, right? So let's look at, um, I'll just give you a little, hist- a little background on, on what it is. And, um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll go on. So the legal concerns in Hong Kong are this, right? If you're, if you're a Hong Kong citizen, right, you're not technically... A, a, a Chinese citizen. You're a citizen of Hong Kong, right? And although Hong Kong is part of China, it has a different legal system. Reading from CNN, they, they did a good job. Different legal system, a concern known as one country, two systems. <clears throat> Pro-democracy figures said the bill, championed by pro-Beijing Lam government, uh, uh, would lead to the erosion of civil rights in Hong Kong, including freedom of speech and rule of law. Uh, so the Chinese are coming in. Right, they got a pro a pro uh, Beijing uh, chief executive. Right, there's no president. There's a chief executive. It's an appointed position, and she's siding with Beijing to institute an extradition bill, which would basically say, okay, so if you're in Hong Kong and you protest or you say something against China, you can be extradited to China. And prosecuted on the Chinese law, right? well, not law. There is no law. It's Chinese, you know, the way of China, right? The 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 empire will say, okay, then we chop your head off, right? and that's what that's what Beijing is. That's what Hong Kong is protesting. The people don't want it. They don't want to be ruled by China. They're they're self rule. We are afraid that we will become a mainland city. Lawmaker Fernando Chang said Thursday, we would no longer have rule of law or our own autonomy. Throughout the debate, Lam has maintained the bill is uh, necessary to ensure, quote, listen to this, that Hong Kong does not become a sanctuary for fugitives running from justice in mainland China. There's no evidence of that at all. Right? That's just a bullshit uh, made-up talking point. Oh, yeah, you don't want all the, all the criminals from China to flood into Hong Kong, do you? So you better give up your rights. It's almost like the, it's almost like the gun lobby here. You don't want to, oh criminals, criminals running around with guns, do you? You better give up your right to have a gun. It's the same bullshit. So Hong Kong's legislative council is due to go on summer recession, right? So so the bottom line here is this: is that that they're not they're not done yet. Just let's just look at the people. What I wanted to talk about mostly is is the power and the numbers, right? It's just when two million people get. Get get busy, right? Two million people hit the street. That's a lot of people, right? Do you think we could ever have something like that in, in the U.S.? Forget about it. Check this shit out. Thank you, CNN. Look at the massive amount of people, man. It's been mostly un, um, uneventful in terms of police. So CNN has sprinkled in some police shots of, you know, but for the most part, you don't see any police on the ground because there's too many people. That's the point. You see what happens? Like with France, take take note. Right? So in, in in Hong Kong, there's two million people in a population of seven million. Right? In the U.S., this the equivalent of of a protest like this, where everything stops. You can stop a bill in its tracks. Eighty million people would have to come out. Right? That's what it would have to look like. This is a real protest. Oh, this is bullshit. It's just... They're, they're, <laughs> they're attacking with umbrellas. All right, so this is the equivalent of 80 million people hitting the streets in the United States. 2 million in Hong Kong with a population of 7 million. 80 million in a population of 320 million. 
And, and in France, it would be 8 million people in a population of 32 million to get it to happen. Power in numbers is what I'm saying. France right now, the yellow vests have, have mustered some, at some point a million, right? But that's, that's still a, a 1 in 32 percent. It's, very, it's a very small, it's like a 2 or 3 percent. When 25 percent of the people, this is Carrie Lam, this is the executive. also ensure that Hong Kong will fulfill her international obligation in terms of cross-boundary and transnational crimes. Now, Lam, I, I have some Chinese friends, and they said that Lam was at one point last week telling the people of, of uh, Hong Kong they're acting like children. They need to be, quote, disciplined. They need to be, the people of Hong Kong need to be disciplined, Lam said. So the, the Hong Kong people are rightfully calling for her, for her head uh, to roll, get out, uh, so a good a good day for for uh, you know for Hong Kong, no doubt. Um, so it, again, this is not off the table, right? It's just a suspension of the bill. Will China eventually come in and and enforce Chinese law and Chinese rule on the Hong Kong people? It's almost a given. It's almost an absolute that China will not yield to you know this little country that they rightfully own. And, uh, you know, it's taken 20 years. I remember when the British first left, the Chinese threatened to shut off the water in Hong Kong. Say, yeah, yeah, no, no, you can, you, can, you can rule yourself. Everything's cool. But if you don't do what we tell you to do, we're going to shut off the water. Because the water that goes into Hong Kong flows from, from the Chinese mountains, right? So it's a, it's a Chinese city that they're, um, they're, fighting, they're fighting hard. Now, can they, can they hold off? China, well, they did it so far, and that's really unprecedented in, in Chinese history. Usually, like, the Chinese will just come in, you know, and they'll, they'll send in the army, and they'll, they'll discipline people. They'll just start shooting people and killing people. They don't care, right? Indiscriminately, right? So, so it's, a, it's a pretty powerful moment for, for Hong Kong, but it's also an example that power in numbers, right? We have nothing like that. We don't have, you know, we have sleepy-ass people uh, fucking sitting online Right, you want to get something done. We got vast income and wealth inequality in this country. The healthcare system is falling apart. The economy, the, the, the stock market's about to explode. We have fake elections. We have you know killings and murders and shootings and 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 all kinds of crazy shit in this country. Right, all kinds of vast corruption, deep deep corruption in our government, and nobody cares. Nobody says a damn word. Right, nobody says anything. Right, so. So we salute you. We salute you, Beijing. Be, uh, we salute you, Hong Kong. Fuck you, Beijing, right? <laughs> right? Fucking Hong Kong, man. Hong Kong rising. Two million people, man. They're showing us how to do it. Marcus Conte reporting.